Hello, my name is David Grant and I'm currently enrolled in the Escoffier Culinary Arts Program at the Boulder campus and I'm going to prepare a meal that I enjoy and enjoy cooking. It's a uh, chipino. It's a thick fish stew. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, peel the shrimp. I know that the shell actually has a lot of flavor, but I think it's easier to eat the stew without them. And I'm going to use these shells to actually create a stock. All right, now that I've peeled the shrimp, I'm going to start making this stock. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of chopped celery and carrot put in shrimp shells. And then I'm just going to cover this and let it simmer for maybe 10 to 15 minutes on low heat. Now while the stock is simmering for a while, I'll start working on some of the veggies for the stew. I'm going to use a whole yellow onion. Next we'll cut up uh, two ribs of celery. And last, I'm going to cut four cloves of garlic, which is kind of a bit much, but I like it uh, really garlicky. Now that we have our stock made, we've had all our vegetables cut, we're going to go ahead and start the base for the stew. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to add some crushed red pepper, which will infuse with the oil and add a little bit of heat. And while that red pepper is cooking, I'm going to put few anchovy fillets in. Mostly it's for salt. I don't put a lot of salt in the soup, but this helps to impart a little bit. Now that's been going for a minute or two, I'm going to add in the chopped onion and chopped celery. Just move those around for a little bit. Let them cook for maybe five or six minutes until they get soft and a little translucent. Now that those have been going for about five minutes or so, really starting to smell good, I'm going to add in four cloves of garlic. Just screw those around for a little bit and we'll let that go for another two minutes or so. Now that that's been sauteing, I'm going to add a large can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to add one cup of dry white wine. And finally, I'm going to add two cups of the stock I made with the shrimp earlier. And we're gonna turn that up to high. Now that it's come to a boil, I'm gonna lower it down and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and reduce slightly and let all those flavors meld together. Now we're gonna let that simmer for a while and reduce a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start cutting up my fish. I've got about a pound and a half of tilapia, which I'm gonna cut into small chunks. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. And then to go along with this, we have a pound of shrimp that I peeled earlier, as well as a pound of mussels. Now I'm going through all the mussels. I'm going to pull any beers off of them. Once I sort it through, make sure there aren't any that are open, I'll go through and scrub them all in the sink. Alright, I've uh, scrubbed and debearded all of these mussels. If there aren't any ones that were open, we've got our tilapia. It's been seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. And here's the shrimp that I peeled earlier. Now, this uh, base has been going for about 20 minutes, reduced a little bit, and it's really starting to smell good. So I think it's time to add uh, the seafood. All right, now that we've got it a simmer, I'm going to go ahead and add the tilapia. Just kind of mix that in. Now we got the fish in there. Let it sit for about five minutes, during which I'll shake the pot a little bit. I'm not going to stir it from this point forward, otherwise the fish might break up a little bit. So we'll let it go five minutes. All right, now it's been about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put the shrimp in. And 
finally the muscles. Leave them sitting on top. We'll cover it. I'm gonna go for 10 minutes. And then it'll be done. Alright, it's done cooking. You can see that the uh, muscles have all opened up and it smells fantastic. So we'll turn the heat down. So that's my take on Chipino. It's a simple base of wine and tomato that works very well with many different types of seafood and all blends together very well. So, thanks for watching.